Can I zoom out? Yes. Outrigger out of the water, <laughs> it goes a bit quicker, but really sitting on the edge. I need some hiking boards, I need to make some hiking boards. Pirates yes. again, you are, you are. Managed to get out of the sound. Just heading out towards the Shagstone and then the new stone. That's the Shagstone over there. Bobby Sands. And Plymouth is back around that corner. That's the new stone. Cut inside the new stone. Run hopefully into the yell. The wind has all but disappeared, which is a little bit annoying. Never mind. The old uh, Jenica pole out there. Oh, pretty good. Wembry in the distance. Making about two knots. We'll be there soon. And you can't quite, well, you can see it. It's there. We're heading there. I can see the destination is in sight. Bella Beach. I think it's going to be a lovely evening. The Mewstone. Past that one about half an hour. Half an hour ago. I'm not feeling too bad about myself either because. I'm looking at all the other boats, all the proper yachts, and um, they're only going a little bit quicker. Not much. Not much. So, so the plan is to set up on the beach, do a bit of fishing, and see if I can catch some teeth. If not, super noodles it is. Cat water did a bit a couple of tacks to get out the sound and then managed to come out and then we came inside the mew stone and we're heading into Cellar Beach. It just so happens we are actually the wind is what, what little wind there is is right behind me. So we 
we are on a dead run straight into the beach now. So it's going to be nice and calm and easy. <laughs> Very cool. And here we are. Here we are arriving in the River Yelm. See the beach. busy but I don't think they're camping so I can get away with it. So I'm gonna try and go on that little bit just in there. It's quite a high high tide so <laughs> there's people on the main beach around the corner so I've just decided to come up on this little one. It's tiny, hopefully. There's only 45 minutes left of tide. So, we'll do. Yeah. Tea's making. It's making. Right, cool. gotta go. Just take a few seconds to enjoy that view. So just to recap the route, I started from the public slipway in Mountbatten on the cat water and then did a few tacks to get out against the southwesterly wind and then pretty much straight out through Plymouth Sound, out through the eastern entrance and then I cut inside the shagstone because I have very little draft and I can do that and then again inside the Mewstone and uh, the Great Mewstone and then straight into Cellar Bay. So through there, oh, through the Mewstone and then pretty much straight into the beach. Cellar Bay there. So now I'm facing that way. Looking out. Nice. You can't quite see the new stone. It's out of sight. On top. Yeah, I'm in the second little one there. So can't quite see it. Just about missing it. It's just around the corner. Sun's gone down. It's very calm and lovely. And what cruising adventure would be complete without a fire? Cozy. Some nice drive, not a lot, but there's some nice dry bushes I pulled down from there. It was all falling down of this ear and this ear. So we're gonna see. I've got a water supply, I've got my filter with me, so I won't be going thirsty. Earth, water, air and fire. Happy camping. For a change, things look lighter in real life. I've just got the fire going again, I've burnt out. You can use the Kelly kettle to get it going, and then once it's going, you can just uh, take the kettle off and chuck everything on. It's awesome. Uh, quarter to six in the morning. The tide should be high in about an hour and a bit. And then I can set up. Stove's on. And in case anyone's wondering, I slept in the canoe in a sleeping bag and a bivy bag with a nice inflatable camping mattress. Proper cozy. The sun's well and truly up. The tide is here, so that's good. 
I'm waiting for that perfect timing. All packed and ready, apart from me fishing stuff. I'll try and have a little fish on the way back. I'm not sure where, but um, we'll see. We'll have a look. So, cool. Doesn't seem to be a lot of wind. <laughs> so maybe we'll be paddling. We'll see. scratching against my canoe this morning. There's a little crab under there. He's scared. He's frozen. This is England, believe it or not. <laughs> it's awesome. It's nice. The water's so clear. The water's so clear. So awesome. So nice. the shelter of the headland now. If you can see but just about making 2.1 knots. Steady 2.1 knot. Oh. 2.2. 2.3. 2.4. We're racing. It's lovely. Absolutely lovely. wind is going to die off about 2 o'clock so I'm going to sail most of the way back and then do a spot of fishing. Wind is coming from the northeast. wind is almost the opposite of what it was yesterday. We're on a dead run out of the yam. This is easy. <laughs> nice and calm. What are we making? We're still only making about two knots. Got up to about 2.4 a minute ago. Bear in mind, there's hardly any wind. We are going with the tide. But that's going to get change as we get over the other side. Um, yes. But still. Inside the new stone again, I think. And then over to Port Sand. Maybe. Or maybe Jenny Cliff. Or I, th I think I said Jenny Cliff, didn't I? Jenny Cliff. Seagull. Ah, the wind. 
wind's picked up a little bit now, that's nice. Just past the new stone. Flags are flapping. Sails are full. If I lean back, let's get a picture, then I lean too much. We're averaging about three, three to four knots. Got up to four a minute ago. Three and a half at the moment, 3.6. Nice. So we're heading back into Plymouth Sound. I've done not, I think, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I think I'll go around to Jennycliff and um, maybe do a bit of fishing. Or I might take advantage of the wind and just sail around the sound whilst it's windy. Well, made it well past the Mewstone and then the Shagstone. And now heading back towards Plymouth Sound. Bit more of an easterly in the wind. More at least, that's good. So I hope I'll be able to just go straight back in. I think I will go around to Jenny Cliff. Good bit of fishing. Sailing's good. So. <laughs> Eastern entrance, the breakwater, big water. We're against the tide, and the wind's a bit northerly. Well, I'm just northeasterly, but um, yeah, it's slow going. I had to do two tacks already because I went too far down and I missed it, and I was almost well, I wasn't going to get in. So um, yeah, we'll see. Oh. Well, I still haven't made it to Jenny Cliff, almost to Drake's Island. <laughs> made it back in the sound, but the wind is northeasterly, so it's kind of coming out of Jenny Cliff. It's a little bit tricky getting in there. I'm going to try and um, head across a little bit and then um, turn around and go back over. You see? So we're kind of heading over to Jenny Cliff. <laughs> I'm going to get there. I'm going to get there. Made it to Jenny Cliff. Just about a voluntary no anchor zone. Oh. Okay. Try and head to the beach just the other side of them. I 
was going to anchor and do a spot of fishing, but I think I'm going to fish from the shore because I want to make a cup of tea and I don't want to get the stove out on the, whilst on the boat. Dangerous, I think. I had to take my Genoa down because it keeps pulling the bow round. When you try and go close to the wind, it won't, it just won't have it. It doesn't help. So, yeah. Never mind, still got the head sail and the main sail. Oh, I might have to get a paddle out. Ah, made it to Mount Batten, Jenny just around the corner. And uh, yeah, the tide's going out, so I'm not going to drag my canoe up too far. Another couple of hours of tide to go. And when it starts coming back in, just go ahead around the corner. So we all going to get some for lunch because I can't afford to light a fire. Oh, the tide goes out too fast. I drag it, drag it, I did, all the way up there. Oh, I haven't even sat here an hour. Maybe an hour and a half. Further than that, but yeah, all the way up by the pipe. Dragged it from there. It's fun. bloody heavy when it's got everything in. But I'm going to depart on a lovely, lonely beach and head back. And around Mount Batten Breakwater into the catwater. And we've made it back up the catwater, which is where I started, so that's good. 